Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and in this video we will be talking about patch 5.8 and some very tentative data, mi data mining that's happened right now. Uh, it's very early, very subject to change so I want to make that quick disclaimer before going into the video. We don't have images and we don't have very much information so don't take everything I say in this video as you know true or that it's confirmed and going to arrive in the game. We don't exactly know but since all the stuff has been mined from the latest PTS build there is a strong chance we could see this coming in some shape or form into the game in the near future. So let's get started with the stronghold and then later we'll talk about some cartel market weapons that look very interesting. But from, from the title of this video, you probably already know that the new data mine stronghold is indeed a Hoth stronghold. So before anyone gets too excited or sad about that, because I know some people might be disappointed because some of the really popular choices would have been Oricon or Rishi. I know those are propped up at, uh, time and time again. Alderaan also would have been really nice. And I'm not so sure about the demand for a Hoth stronghold. But uh, that is what's been data mined. Uh, what's actually been data mined is a Hoth stronghold directory, which is basically what's added to the game whenever a new stronghold is added, because that's where you purchase a stronghold from. It's also placed on the planet, so you can exit to the directory uh, from your stronghold. So once again, when that gets added in, there is a strong chance that that stronghold is in the works. But keep in mind, back in the day, there's a cool stronghold was also data mined. The directory was added to the PTS. It was uh, supposed to be a mirror of Valen's power Alice from the Kotet storyline. So that was like very much confirmed. I was almost like 100% sure that was going to be added to the game. But then it seems like that stronghold was actually scrapped and we got the Manon stronghold instead. So I'm not so sure if um, just because this hot stronghold has been data mined, if that is going to for sure show up in the game. It might very well just be uh, like the devs gauging the community's reaction in terms of whether we actually want a Hoth stronghold and then if the community kind of rejects it then they're probably going to go on to something else. So I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there's a cool stronghold might still very well show up sometime in the future. Uh, but yeah, the Hoth stronghold's data mined. It could show up and I wouldn't mind a Hoth stronghold. I just would prefer something else. Oricon kind of makes a lot of sense because a lot of people are speculating that that's the planet we return to in the near in the next storyline or the next flashpoint when trying to catch you know Theron Sean and stuff. So um, Oricon would make sense. It would actually be one of the perfect times to include it. So that could actually be in the mix as well. But for now, all we know is a hot stronghold directory was added to the PTS, and that that could be a stronghold that we see. All right, we'll move on to the cartel market weapons because that's actually a little bit more interesting. Uh, so we firstly we're gonna see the Dark Honor Guards Vibro Whip and the Dark Honor Guards Curved Vibro Blade. Now although these sound very cool, actually I think these are going to be uh, the Dark Praetorian Guards weapons that we saw in The Last Jedi. So if you remember that really badass fight scene that we saw in The Last Jedi between Rey, Kylo Ren, and the Dark uh, or the Praetorian Guards. Um, they had some really cool ass weapons that they were using and my very first thought actually after watching that I actually tweeted this out was that I would love to see these in Swotar and it seems as though that they're actually going to include them. Um, the curved Vibro Blade definitely looks very sim probably going to look very similar to what we saw in the movie. The Vibro Whip is very interesting and I'm not sure how that would work in game or what classes would be able to use that but these weapons do indeed sound very cool and if you look at the icon from the uh, data mining um, you'll see that it's actually a gold icon so these could very well be gold weapons and not platinum rarity and it would be awesome to see these as gold weapons because uh, that would mean they're just way more accessible and uh, a lot more people are going to have access to them so that sounds very cool I, I personally love vibro blades and seeing those weapons in the game would just be awesome so that's exciting the third weapon actually data mined is the unstable vented lightsaber so a lot of people think that this is basically going to be a clone of Kylo Ren's lightsaber. We already have the defined vented lightsaber, but a lot of people think this is going to be an unstable blade. So it's going to be the same thing, but with the actual unstable effect, which is probably the, light the lightsaber you would have expected them to release two years ago when The Force Awakens was released and we got like the unstable Arbiter's lightsaber and stuff. But um, it looks like this is finally going to make its way into the game. Now, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. I personally don't mind it. I love the unstable effect. The uh, unstable Peacemaker's lightsaber is my favorite one to use in the game. I really think they nailed the whole unstable effect with that one. And I really hope we see that with the new saber. But I actually don't think this is going to be a clone of the Defined Vented saber. 
Although the name sounds very similar, I do think that it's uh, gonna have a different design. It's gonna be vented in some other way. Like think about the uh, Unstable Peacemaker's lightsaber that's got a vent coming out the bottom. I just think this is gonna be, um, look, this is gonna look different. Uh, the Unstable Vented Saber, I have seen this pop up in data mining before. It was actually a placeholder name for the Unstable Peacemaker's lightsaber. So uh, back in the day, I'd even made a video saying, look, this was data mined, and then it turned out that it was just a placeholder name. So this could also very well just be a placeholder name for another unstable saber that's gonna be added into the game. So either way, it bodes well. It looks like we're gonna get an exciting new item. We just don't quite know what that item's gonna be, but it's exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and let's see. Hopefully, um, hopefully we get something really cool. Once again, we're just going to have to wait to get some actual images. But in any case, that kind of ends the little bit of information we do have about patch 5.8. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, let me know in the comment section, are you excited for a hot stronghold? Or if not, what stronghold would you really like to see? And, I, and for the weapons, I just really hope that they're going to look as good as they do in my mind right now. Like I'm imagining some really cool ass looking weapons. And normally, uh, Bioware's designs and cartel market stuff doesn't always live up to expectations. But I'm just really hoping and holding out my hopes for this one. It would be awesome to see some of those Dark Praetorian Guard weapons uh, look as cool in the game as they do in the movies. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.